Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic. Yo, Trying a round as uh, the engineer. And then I have no idea what I'm going to do next. And that kind of excites me. Because, um, like, I'm doing these, of course, primarily to learn the classes and the games. So when I hit the internet, um, I won't be bullied. And so I can be a good help to my team. 200 more count. Right. But we're in a different environment. I wonder if you can just keep going up until you hit space. I wonder what happens. Do you get, like, sucked off? Alright, that's a halo gun if I've ever seen one. Grenade. Whoa. So the engineer might end up being more of a tank than the gunner. Not that I would know. Have to wait for flare recharge. Ooh. So Right, explosives hurt. Yep, that's definitely making some headway. Here's something for you to play with. Okay. Not at all what I was expecting. I guess he doesn't truly need a grenade to throw since he has his like grenade rifle, the grenade launcher. There we go. And what is that? A shotgun? Yeah, it's a shotgun. Perfectly standard, normal, normal ass shotgun. Nothing wrong with that, of course. It's a good shotgun though. Probably weaker than um the scout's boomstick. But it's got a much larger ammo capacity, triple the size, so. What, are you going to complain about that? Oh, wow. What a beautiful cave system. Go! Get to work! Go, Ald. And Nitra? Nitra it is. Man, this makes me want to get a pickaxe and just start digging. For those who are not new to my channel, um, I have regularly done challenges wherein I... Uh, do things from video games in real life. And I say regularly, by that I mean twice. Uh, however, one of the video games in question was Morrowind. Move your tin ass over here and hurry, please. The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, uh, and it took quite a while to do so. Sorry, little buddy. Your own fault for being full of goodies. Goodies. It sounds like there's the same voice lines for everyone, it's just that they're pitch shifted in their own unique way. Oh god. Platform's nice. I'll be honest, I have no idea what I shot him with. <gasps> it's this. Platform. Oh, it makes a platform. That's really useful. Follow me, Bosco. Don't want the more. This is a good character. I like this a lot. You bug.
Come here. I wonder, if, I wonder if Honeydew has played this. Simon Honeydew, the Twitch streamer. Because, like, liking dwarves is, like, one of his primary personality it traits. Wasn't time. Okay. Dump. Down the hatch. Oh, wow. That feels really good to just hold the button down and just vent a truckload of, of goodies. That's really powerful. I suppose I might like this game a little brighter, um, as you may have seen by my nigh upon obsessive uh, throwing of light sticks. Uh, however, it could just be that I need to turn my in-game brightness up. I can turn that down, honestly. No gamma. Or there's no brightness, just gamma, huh? That's unfortunate. Whatever, I'll take it. Better than nothing. At least we don't have to haul all these minerals around ourselves. Goodies. Can't, I can't believe that goody is a, like, saying goodies is a standard dwarfism. Okay, let's take a look here console. It looks like that's a dead end, huh? Yeah, nothing that way, huh? Okay, that's fine. And again, does not look as though he's pointing. So maybe I just made an assumption earlier. I like the sound of that. Let's vent this. I actually think we're gonna make it. I don't know what it is about, oh, this thing's called the Warthog, I forgot. What a good name for anything. Like, let's be honest here. This is a, just Minecraft cross Team Fortress 2. And you know what? That's fucking great. Both of those games are good. Those are good games to want to rip off. Oh god, get on it. Thank you. No idea what these are, and I don't know if I've ever managed to get all of them in one mission, but that's okay. Help me with the minerals here. Grab that nitro, will ya? Thank you. See, in video games, occasionally you get this thing of like, I love the stuff that you get in single player. I love those perks, but I wish I could also have those and play with my friends. Like in Monster Hunter, you can have, you can have your Palico or Palamute. Uh, in Monster Hunter World specifically, I don't know about the new one. I haven't played it yet. I don't even know if I will. Um, but like, you can have your Palico with you in single player. And if you have all four players on a server, you get no palicos. But if you have two players, then you get two palicos with you. And like, man, the you imagine. Like a Christmas tree. We got a swimming coming. They still have Christmas? They had Christmas to begin with? They're dwarves. I thought dwarves were Jewish. On the other hand, I suppose a Christmas tree is a useful uh, base unit of comparison of the something that has a lot of you. dots on it. Also, I'm not just being irreverent. Um, 
Professor Tolkien uh, once described how he based the dwarves somewhat off of uh, the Jewish people. Specifically in The Hobbit, in that they are uh, derived of their homeland, Erebor the Lonely Mountain. Uh, and there's just a big fucking problem sitting on their doorstep. In The Hobbit it is Smaug, but in the real world it's a number of things that happened to the Jewish people that were all very bad. Thank you, Bosco. Man, I hate fighting spiders on the merit that they can be literally anywhere. You know? You will never know if you're Boy, safe from a spider. Out. Wipe out the rest and get on with it. They can be anywhere. That's a good gun. Alright, go time. This is dumb. This not. This shouldn't work like that. Go get him, boy. Ah, of course. I always love turret guns. You know. Any aim with a turret gun, it's got my vote. So it doesn't look like these things drop very many goodies. So can, Reloaded. I can I take you with me? Okay, cool. So now we just keep that on us. I did not know this, but recently it was pointed out to me the fact that um, the presence of the Sackville Baggins, the annoying neighbors that uh, Bilbo has that are always trying to get his fortune. Not like through like schemes, but just because they think they deserve it because they're related to him and he got rich and famous. And so they think they're owed something because they're related. Like just general annoying relative shit, right? It was pointed out to me that you can compare uh, the dwarves strife with one dragon smaug to the Sackville Bagginses. Because those are equally petty property disputes of like, hey, shouldn't I own this? I'm I'm a dragon, I love gold. Shouldn't I have this? It's like, uh, no, I live here. Ooh, I already called the guys. You know? Just like, and, and that's part of why Bilbo is the one tapped by Gandalf to get on this mission, because like, it is a similarly petty, stupid property dispute. I really can't use this for anything. So a lot of these are tagged as just generic salt. And that's a salt crystal. What is this? Big salt crystal. So is salt this common in the real world and there's only just the some of the good stuff is edible? It would make sense. I don't know enough about salt to dispute it. Like, or maybe this is just the general like salt rocks that salt is found in. I know that like rock salt and road salt is different and has nothing to do with regular salt. Hate to wait for flare charging. Oh, that was why I couldn't pick it up. It wasn't mined and my health was full, so there was no purpose. It doesn't look like I have to... Oh, gosh. See that down there, everyone? That's a problem. Big and... Luckily, there's a hole. And this digs into a wonders. No, go away, please. Ah. 
Hey, did you see that, everyone, by the way? A shotgun that does not require you to put every single shell in it like a caveman. Long time viewers of the channel may know that I have extensively complained about the Halo shotgun. Yes, it's a good gun, but I think that it's ridiculous that 500 years in the future, we'll still be loading every single shell into a shotgun individually, shell by shell. Because we don't even do that to shotguns today. There are belt-fed or clip-fed or... Like, you don't have to feed every single shell into a shotgun by hand nowadays. Just bugs me like crazy that you have to in Halo because it's supposed to be the future. And somehow in the future, shotgun technology got worse. Even though Halo is a book about jacking off to how cool the military is. To anyone who's ever read a Halo book, especially one of the ones that's not as good, do this for me. Read a Halo book with the intention to Bosco, assume every single mention of military spending is somebody's fetish. An extremely specific fetish based on how much money is spent on the military. And it's like the Spartan Project costs over $20 trillion every single day. And yada 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 and this and this ship was 20 billion dollars a second and this was a million dollars per bullet to fire and every time you fired it was a million dollars and like inflation kind of destroys the meaning of money especially in the future and personally i kind of believe in the like star trek future where like eventually we're just gonna hit socialism like i think that's just the way it's gonna be this is fun it is. You're right, Mr. Engineer. Um, I don't like Star Trek, but I think that they have some things correct about the future. Getting closer to our quota. They did uh, predict video calling. Well, that's the thing, right? You. Help me. Anything that's said in the future is going to have to say something about the future, right? Even if you write something that's set in the future and it's not really that far in the future, but there is a year on it, you are saying something about the future, you know? It's the most boring speculative fiction ever, but it counts. Like, if I wrote something that took place in the year 2023 and we were still using iPhone 11s then, I would have made a statement about the future. You know, that counts. As fucking boring as that is. Is that a mule? I've got to dump a load. Just take your sweet time, old lady. I've got all day. Old lady. Nicely done, team. You just secured yourself a nice bonus. Oh, cool. We hit the we hit the extra thing. I've never hit one of those. I love dwarven androgyny. You know. Like, there's a lot of androgyny in a lot of different fantasy races, and it all presents in a completely different way. Hi. Call this a dwarven hello. <laughs> like, with dwarves, everyone's short, angry, and they all got beards. Just nothing but beards, you know? Even Tolkien implied that, that some of the dwarven women have beards. And like with hobbits, everyone's like fat and chill and happy. With elves, everyone's pretty. With orcs, everyone's beefy. And depending on your elf, everyone is uh, very feminine. But like, just fantasy androgyny always presents in a unique way based on the original race. just picked up a swarm of glivid grunts heading your way. Listen. There's a lot of them. I'm glad we have someone to carry our rocks and stones. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of rock and come stone here. recently. Bosco, Is that a thing or something? Donkey, come here. Grunts engaging. Check him out. We got work to do. 
<laughs> oh, oh, let's do this. Sentry gun needs assembly. Should have gotten that done quicker. Thank you. Okay, hold that fort down, will you? I do always love. Can't carry anymore. Um. Ooh, starting to hit the Captain Morgan. Probably if I get the stuff that uh, Bosco picked up, I might be able to just beat it on out. the gun here? Right. I was like, huh, I'm in close quarters. Maybe my other gun would be better. I wonder how I haven't been using it. Uh, Bosco, can you... Thank you. I played Powers of the Engineer in Team Fortress 2, and I don't even really like the Engineer that much. It's a great class, but like it's it's not like special to me. It's it's just really useful. Like, especially when you're on defense, but it kind of in general. There is never really a bad time to play the engine. No beasties incoming. Take care of what is left, then have a breather. Oh, I made a platform. There's something that really, really made me sad about Overwatch. Like, Turbjorn is not as good as the Engineer. And, like, I don't think ever will be. Time to deposit! Got it right between the eyes! What eyes, dog? Complete and nicely done. Return button on the mule has been activated. What a cutthroat business tactic, and yet it works. Like, hey, you can't even ask to come home until your work is done. But when it's done, you are not even guaranteed to get out. You know? You gotta pay your own way. You gotta get your own ass out of there. Can you help me mine this? Loot bug looted. Noise. I'm full. Where's Molly? I I mentioned this earlier, but I really like that. Max full. Can't they started they anymore. that they have their own culture and like fun names for everything and like shorthand and stuff. It's a very good piece of world building. It's very simple, you know? Just the fact of, like, this thing works the same way a pack mule would back in the ancient days of mining. So we'll make a backronym so we can still call it a mule. But because it's not called mule, they call it slightly different things, like donkey or molly. And, like, what a good little character piece. Like, it's a very simple game. This isn't a particularly deep game. There's a lot of good tech going on here. Uh, a lot of good stuff on display, and like... Sometimes I wonder if mining is all there is to life. Then I punch myself in the nose. The ride home is on the way. Drop pod inbound. Silly. Um, yeah, like, there's a lot to be learned here. Like, in terms of game development. Like, just... Making it a part of the story... Like, because obviously this game does not have a huge, huge story as as it goes, you know? But it has enough world building to say, like, hey, there's the company. One moment. Sorry. Not that you would notice uh, much of a difference. Anyway, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot to be seen here from just, like... It's this, right? To... Yeah, cool. Yeah, like the the in the meta plot, Damn, there is the 
sort of plot point that, like, the company does not give a shit about you. But, like, the company doesn't care what you do as long as you make them money. So the dwarves, long known for being a race with a lot of camaraderie, a lot of friendliness, you know. Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. Always having each other's backs. They put up all of the signs to be like, hey, have, have your guys back, you know? Buddy system. And like... Go, go, go. Drop pod isn't waiting forever. Well, the guys above are like, who cares if you live or die? Just come back with money. Everyone you're playing with is like, hey, make sure everyone gets back okay, right? And like, whether or not you like the company, they don't care about you, so it's not going to be reciprocal. And you are working with these guys and relying on them, so you may as well make sure that it's reciprocal that they like you. And like, it's a very good way to ensure your player base will try to have each other's back. Of just building it into the lore in a very simple way like that. Yeah, it's very intelligent. I like it a lot. It's just very smart. And, like, it's a very minor thing in this game that's very good. And it's practically irrelevant. You might never even think about it or notice it. Unless you had to, to to directly think about it. But, like, no, that's straight up just really solid. That's one for the books. Retrieving escape pod. Sorry, I've got some uh, Sonic the Hedgehog here. <laughs> nice. Man, my dad would probably like this game, but he is not a PC gamer. Or a multiplayer gamer. Ooh, let's look at our goodies. Whoa. Hot potato. Perks. Okay. Field medic. That's kind of tiny. Take and deal 50% less suit. Early warning when you're going to be grabbed. Speed bonus. Goes to another speed bonus, more speed. See you in hell. I am always. Ah, oh, you equip it, I see. Pure park mania. How long have I I played the most as gunner just because? What am I even going to do next? Now, where's that perk thing they talked about? Is it this one? Pickaxe customers. Memorial. No, probably not. There we go. Mmm, I see. 
So let's try to put these all on here. Actually, let's be even fasterer. Heavy duty excavation. The truth Ain't is out no there. So is All right, let's do something risky, y'all. Let's join a game. Now, hopefully, I do not have to turn on my. <laughs> I see. Yes, indeed, huh? Your team is getting bigger. Wolf inbound. Well, I have a good feeling about this team. Oh, interesting. You come in your own little drop pod. Nice beard. Rock on! <laughs> Oh god. Make sure let's grab this, huh? Don't got room for more. Laser pointer how you communicate with your teammates. Oh god. Oh yeah, I've got this, don't I? Let's get the minerals. Yes. You snooze, you lose. Oi, we crave that mineral lad, don't we? Jesus. Sorry, I'm not talking because I'm just focusing. I can probably grab this, right? Friend here has gotten this. Throw that Pump down on there. Launched. Stay clear from the impact zone. Okay. So that thing is there, and it doesn't look as though. Pump jacks here. Let's get it hooked up to the refinery. Oh Jesus! That was stupid of me. An extra miner has been assigned to your team. Oh, cool! We got a new guy, Asmodeus. Rock and stone. Glad to be working with you. I can't feel my beard. Help! A dwarf never dies. Pipe lane. Rock and stone. Rock and stone! Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's fun. That's what the job pods look like. 
Oop. Ooh, okay. I'll get working on this guy, I guess. Oh, we have another guy coming. Good. That's damn useful. The miners on the way to join you. Man, when you get the <laughs> you get this thing in close quarters. That is pretty damn useful. Right. Got a pump jack down. So I have at least not done nothing. That's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to you know, not have any What? What? What is happening? <laughs> just like your mom jokes they're all right they're okay my mom jokes those are eternal thank you regular show oh jesus Glyphid Oppressor. This is fun. Oh yeah. Man, what a name, huh? Oh god, oh god, don't do it again. Thank you. Let them be Hollow might. Ramming speed. Oh, you can get, you can help. That's really useful. Yeah, that feels so good. To have all the, all the bros in on it. Head start on this for them. I like this. I love feeling like I'm part of the team, you know? It's not good down there, lads. Slow down, please. Jesus. Griffin Grunt Slasher. That reminds me, dump this. Coming in sideways and it looks a little wonky. I probably mentioned this in another episode, but that's one thing about um, any shooter made after Doom. You're gonna you're gonna always have a good, reliable machine gun. Like the chain gun in, gun in Doom is way more of like a special weapon, I would argue rather than like a big reliable piece. That's a pain in the ass. It's right up on us. Right. I assume that everyone gets a share of my cash for me getting gold, so I'm going to Get a little more of this, huh? Lightning. Is that me? 
dump that in there. 111 units of gold. Burrito, burrito. Okay, what, what pipe is this? That's uh, pipe one. They're working on pipe three, I think. Three is one that doesn't have a lot of work done on it. Secondary objective completed. Now finish the job. On the other hand, it looks like this one isn't finished, so. Yeah, boo -boo. Oh, they even have little skateboards. That's really fun. Stand back, supply pod inbound. Okay, good. Someone ordered a supply pod as well. What's the deal here, fam? Uh, what goes on here, fam? Look, I, I don't presume to know. I don't know what I'm doing, so I won't presume to know what you're doing, but to me, it doesn't look correct. No offense. For you, fam. Request accepted. Stand clear. Pump jack inbound. They're on the last thing. Second pump jack connected. All right, cool. And then we just got to get that well. thing back online. Okay, cool. This grind thing is real damn useful. Also, the fact that it looks like a skateboard is very cute. That in there. Yo. Rock and roll. Okay, so where's the third pump jack? Let there be light. Okay, that's one. Lights I have no idea, to be perfectly frank. So I guess I'll just start dragging this out. Yeah. This is fun. Clear this just so it looks a little nicer. I like the sound of that. Also, I kind of want to get this to timber. And segment done. Sentry gun needs ah. Assembly. Not the case then, huh? Assistance. Sweet. I guess mission control wouldn't know a monkey wrench from a cliff is ours. I like this. I'm glad that somebody more uh, logical and knowledgeable about this game has taken over because I'm going to go on a limb here and say that everyone is. I love this. This goes here. Lloyd is this is hard work. That's a flare gun. Why am I shooting you with it? Get away from me. Sorry. gonna go on a limb and say that they have that probably figured out. I can't carry anymore. See you suckers. Damn. That hit the spot. 
Oh, why did you leave the game? So you can put up with us. That makes sense. I hope one can hear me. I do rather enjoy games where I don't really need to speak to people. And like, no offense. I just much prefer it that way. He says it no shot non -sh so, fucking wow. He says it no non sh so nonchalant. Jesus Christ, Look over here. The gears are turning. And there they are. Swarm. Kill him, team. Oh yeah, you were kidding, huh? <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to start heading back to base. Wonderful, thank you. Oh, I'm dry. I'm totally dry. Man, the guy who got that done's a hero. Let's get this bread. Liquid Morkite is being extracted. Refinery and all pump jacks are working at full capacity. Be warned, the noise will draw in the locals. God. So stay on your toes and do what you can to protect and maintain the equipment. I'm, I'm in a I'm in a car wash of animal guts. Hostiles are backing down. Finish them. <laughs> it's like I'm in a water park. But with blood. The pipelines are jammed. You need to maintain it. Jesus. Ooh, that thing. That guy misses the blow. He really has a closing shot. All three of them, huh? Nope, that's not the way I want to go. I think I found the problem. Go away, thank you. This pipeline is fixed, but there are more outstanding issues. You fixed the extraction of liquid morkite is running again keep up the good work that's we'll really cool when you time. when you hit reload and there's nothing to reload you just do a cool flip pump sequence at 25 percent this is fantastic i adore this keep on fighting oh i assume that's the slag being away. vented Ah! 
hell? That's like a Cazador. That thing is ugly as sin. Oh, that thing took a chunk out of the rock. That's cool. Bomb sequence 50%. Keep all systems running. We're done in no time. We got a leak. Locate it and fix it. A little preoccupied here, sir. Actually, this would be a good time to empty my pack. Considering I'm pretty sure I've got some... Down it goes. Oh, I guess I didn't... This is the problem? It's right next to us. I mean, one of the problems. This pipeline is fixed, but you need to clear all malfunctions in order for the refinery to run. Suckers! I'm the king of pipes! I'll keep pushing on this one. Oh, that's it, actually. Pipeline repaired, but other pipelines are still malfunctioning. Ring a ding ding! Everything's running smoothly again. If I will never get tired of shooting something from the back of a from the back of a of a Bugs, get ready. grind line. I don't care what anyone says. Jesus. Sorry, shot that guy in the back. I see one problem. This one's the furthest out, and I'm pretty pipeline quick, so I'll go grab this. But other pipelines are still malfunctioning. Is that the only one on this? It isn't. There's several, there's like three on this one alone. This pipeline is fixed, but there are more outstanding issues. What if I should just stay on the edge here? Ah, they made this one real fun. Pipeline's operational again. You're doing fine. Ah, uh, yes. We got company, and it's a nice one. A nice one? Like, it's Supplies a are on the way. good thing? I assume he means a loot bug. Excellent work, miners. All liquid morkite has been processed, and the cargo rocket is fully loaded. All systems are go, just press the launch button. All right. I'll just run back. I got all this extra gold for everyone. I hope that makes my absence work worth it. This one's a very exciting pipe to take back. Well done. Cargo rocket is returning to orbit. We're sending in the dropper to get you out. Hang tight. Okay, one, I really like that there are no iron sights, because why would a dwarf give a shit about iron sights? Who fuck aiming, you know? And I love that melee is just on the mouse, just like shooting is. Because, like, you're in a first-person shooter, you're always going to have your hand on the mouse anyway. Drop pod departing in T-minus three minutes. Jesus. Oh God, oh God, I'm really in a bad way here. Go! Yeah. 
Oh shit. Oh god. Sorry, I've realized that I've like just stopped talking completely. Cause like I feel very in danger here. Right, drop pod is this way. So let's Hup. Oh god. Drop pod departing in T minus two minutes. Go, go, go. This way. Uh oh. Fuck. I tripped. I really just tripped there. Oh, and of course, these guys are just gonna come puppy guard me. That's one for the books. Retrieving escape pod. Oh no. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> they really did it to me. Uh, what happened to No Dwarf Left Behind? It was my fault. It was my fault. All right. Uh, good show, everyone. I had a lot of fun. Um, this is Deep Rock Galactic. It's available on Steam, and it's not very expensive. Oh, man. That went tits I would say that this is definitely the kind of game you could justifiably pay $60 for. And yet, don't think you should. I think it's only 30 like, at its highest. Oh, I'm, I'm in the med bay because I died in the last mission. That's funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah um, I'll see you guys all next time uh, mission selected your chariot awaits gentlemen move out oh I guess we're doing another one yeah I'm definitely going to play more of this um, don't know about how much I'm going to record it but, but yeah I'll see you guys all next time I've been Alfred this has been Deep Rock Galactic everyone have a good day see ya